Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Indesit MTWC91295 washing machine. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washer some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just for a start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. This particular machine has a maximum capacity of up to 9 kilograms, and also the spin speed has a maximum of 1200 spin. You have got the option to vary it on here, but I will show you that in a bit more detail in a moment. You will also find that within the MTWC range, there are different load sizes and also different spin speeds as well. But the, really for the purpose of this video, I'm concentrating on the 9 kilogram with a 1200 spin option. So I've just zoomed in now so you can see the fascia on here. Uh, you will find that it's a nice, easy to rotate dial. Uh, you've got all the programs listed on the front of the soap drawer here on the left hand side. It just gives you some basic information. Uh, but what I do really like, which not many manufacturers have done before, it does give you an idea of the time remaining or the time for each program. Uh, clearly you've not got the display on here, so you don't know how long each program is going to take. But it just gives you a rough idea as to how long or the duration of each program. Uh, so if I'll just go through some of the basic programs. Uh, so as you start off at the top here, you've got the mixed cotton and then the cotton 40 degree. Uh, so all you'll find is that the uh, not many of the programs can you actually put a full nine kilograms in. So the first three programs, so the mixed cotton and the cotton, you can put the full nine kilograms in. Uh, as you go around to say program four on here, so with that one again, that's a cotton program. That's a maximum capacity of up to four and a half kilograms. Uh, so it's half the load size of these ones here. All that happens is if you were to put a full nine kilograms into here, it will just take a lot longer to wash. Uh, so again, you can select the full 1200 spin if you want to. Uh, for each program, you can vary the spin speed. Uh, if you're onto the cotton programs, then you've got the option to select all the way up to the 1200. You will find on some of the specialized programs, especially things like the some of these programs where you've got the uh, silks, delicates, and the wool option then you won't be able to go all the way up to the 1200 spin. What I'm pleased to say is that they've listened to customer research and a lot of people don't necessarily want the full two or three hour washes like on some of these. So you have got the option for some of these longer programs, uh, but really what Indesit have done this time is they've listened to customer research and they've come up with this section of fast cycles. So you will see here the 59 minutes 59, 45 minutes, these are all programs that are uh, basically under an hour, which personally I think is a really good idea. Uh, that's one thing we get a lot in our showroom, people commenting on the long wash times of their washing machines. Uh, but if you want some of the longer programs, so what Indesit have done is they've put down here traditionals. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about uh, longer wash times or shorter wash times. I've already done a separate video on that. Um, the only comment I'll make is that although the duration is important for a lot of people, so if you can do a full load in under, under an hour essentially, then that can be very good. What you will find is that sometimes the performance of the wash, so how well it washes the clothes, isn't quite as good as using some of, the, some of these longer programs. Uh, also it doesn't tend to get the machine as clean, so you may need to do more service washes. But you know, essentially that's a, almost another conversation. But again, some of these programs, you've got the option to wash the full load. So as you go up to program nine, then you can wash the full nine kilograms. Uh, but the Eco 40 to 60, that's one of the other main programs where again, you can wash the full nine kilograms. But it is just a warning. If you do select that program, then if you were to wash the full nine kilograms, it will take around three and a half hours to wash. That's really what's on about some of the longer wash times. Uh, if you were to go all the way around here to say the rinse and spin or spin and drain, then you've got those options as well. Uh, it's something I'll try and point out because not all machines have the rinse and spin. It's something that quite a few people want to do. They just want to say hand wash something, then pop it in, quick rinse, spin, and then take it out. As you come around here, you've got the different temperature options. So if, if you have selected a, say a cotton program, if you were to select, say, program nine, just at the bottom here, then that's one of the programs where you can vary it uh, all the way up to 90 degrees if you wanted to. 
You have got the option here to change the temperature for most of the washers. Uh, some of them will be fixed. So if you were going to wash at the lower temperatures, then clearly you don't, you can't go higher than 20 degrees on that program. Uh, but for some of the programs, so if you were selecting the white option, which on here is program 11, then what that will do is that will give you the ability to wash at any of these temperatures. So it's one of the few programs that you can go all the way up to 90 degrees. Some people still want to do that, or a boil wash as they, they've called it over the years. Uh, that's really good for things like towels. Uh, or if you want to put it through a, a service wash, as I just mentioned earlier, then that's a good one to, su to select. Uh, and what all that will do is that will hopefully help to clean the machine through. Service washes are an important thing to do. Uh, ideally do it once a month. Either use things like sachets to help keep the machine clean, or if not, you can just put it on its own, so nothing in it, 90 degrees, select one of the quicker programs, and then it will just go through, clean the machine, and the main advantage is it will hopefully make the machine last longer because it's helping to keep the element clean. Just along the top here, you've got the progress indicator, so it just shows you whereabouts it is in the wash. Clear without a display, then you've got a slight disadvantage. You don't know whereabouts in the program it is, but at least you can tell by the indicators along the top here, whether it's going through the washing, rinsing, or spinning process. And then towards the end of the program, then that will indicate as to when you can take the clothes out. Uh, you've got a couple of options down the right hand side here, things like the time delay. Uh, time delay is again, a really good option to have because people are a lot more energy conscious now than if you've got things like Economy 7, where you've got cheap electricity during the night, then you can delay it by either three, six or nine hours. You just press that button there. Then you've got the option for things like extra rinse. Uh, that's a good option if you've got some of the household that suffers with things like allergies, then you can just press that button and just adds rinses onto the end of the program. Easy iron, I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of ironing at home. So if I've got an option to make it easier, then that's always gonna be one that I'm going to pick. By pressing the button, what that will do is it just reduces the agitation of the final spin. Uh, and that's, a, again, an option that you can select on most of the programs. It's not on all the programs, but by doing that, that would just reduce the, the creases towards the end of the program. And also you've got the child lock facility. So by pressing that, what that will do is press and hold it for a couple of seconds and it just stops little fingers coming along, changing the dials, which can be quite frustrating, especially if you've got your wash set for an hour or so, then you come back and you find that the temperature's changed, or even worse, the machine's been turned off by one of the wonderful children within the household. As we open the door, you've got the handle on the right hand side here. It's a nice easy grip handle, so even if you do suffer with your hands, then it's quite a nice, easy to grip door, so it's nice and simple to get the door open. Uh, what I am pleased to see, and if you follow me on YouTube for a while, you'll know that I do talk about this a lot. It's the hinges and the door catch. I'm still pleased to see that Indesit have put the metal hinges and door catches on here. Despite the price of the machine, I'm really impressed, so well done Indesit. Uh, you'll find that the uh, overall porthole size, you're looking around 28 centimetres, around 11 inches, which is okay. That, that's not too bad. Some manufacturers have gone with really large portholes but I think for, for the capacity on the machine at nine kilograms, that's not too bad. On this model, it features something called an inverter motor. Now, the main advantage of an inverter motor is that they cost less to run, so they run more efficiently. Also, they're quieter as well. Uh, talking about energy efficiency, I'll just show you the energy label on the machine. You'll see here it's a B energy rating, which is really good. Uh, I'm really pleased that Indesit are improving things like the energy efficiency of the machines. That's where a lot of manufacturers are going now. Uh, also 57 kilowatt hours of energy per 100 cycles. And it's uh, just proving that it's a nine kilogram capacity. Uh, you will find at 75 decibels, the noise level on here isn't too bad. It's something I always recommend. Just have a quick look. Uh, I know noise level is not the highest priority for a lot of people, but when it comes to comparing machines, just have a look through because you will find that some of the machines could be quite a bit quieter by paying a little bit more. What you will also find is that the size of the machine uh, is, well, let's just have a quick measure. So the width of it, 60 centimeters 
yeah, 60 centimeters or 23 and a half inches wide. That tends to be quite standard. The height of it, so you're looking at around 84 centimeters or just over 33 inches high. Now the depth is one thing that can vary between a lot of machines. So if we go to the very back here, then if you go into the front lip, that's 58 centimeters or around 23 inches. And if you go into the very front of the machine, then you're looking around 63 centimeters or just under 25 inches. So before you buy the machine or before you buy any washing machine, just have a measure to make sure it will fit in. Especially on some machines like this, where it's quite a large capacity, the depth on some of the machines can be a little bit deeper than standard. I'll just show around the back of the machine, because I think for some people it's quite important to know the layout of it, especially if you're going to install it yourself. Uh, you've got the mains connection at the top left here, you've got the waste at the bottom left, and also you've got the water connection where you connect the hose up to the top right here. You do get a new hose with it. I'd always recommend using a new hose when you get the new machine. If for some reason you can't use the hose, uh, if you needed to use longer hoses that you've got within your kitchen or utility, then at least use the new washers from inside the hose. If you're wondering what these cheeky little things are, these little plastic parts, then what these are designed to do is to go within where the transit bolts normally sit. So these transit bolts have to come out. It is mandatory. If you don't take them out, then it will ruin the machine and that won't be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. So all you do is take these out and then once you've done that, pop these plastic parts within the holes. If you're thinking of buying one of these machines, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Indesit MWTC91295 washing machine. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe and leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, good or bad about the video, put my teeth back in. Uh, I always appreciate the feedback and just be honest about it. If I have missed something, if you want to know something about the machine that you've come here to watch it and I've missed it, then just pop it in the comments below. Also, if you have got one of these machines or a similar machine to this, then let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.